This is NPR. This is a, a fun thing. I'm uh, I'm win winning an award from the American Association of Engineering Societies. The, the reward comes with the with the great benefit of having a rubber chicken at the National Academy of Sciences. So I'm just, you know, I'm delighted and excited. Okay. I always tell people that I learned to speak English before I learned to speak science. So, so I think uh, from the get-go I was comfortable uh, telling stories. You know, telling stories, that's, that's how people communicate, how uh, the world goes around. I don't know that I was especially good at it. Hey, um, I would like to see if there's a studio free for me to track and submix a piece. Um, okay, that'll be great. I'll go over to 37. I think I know where that is. <laughs> All right. This is the hardest thing about working here is opening the studio doors. Stories are usually stories about people. Those are the ones we remember. We don't remember stories about transuranic elements. The story that I'm most proud of, in a way it's just me getting out of the way, was this Jim Olson story about <clears throat> treating cancer. Now it's, there was no, there was very little news been done before. It was just, it was just powerful. A medical researcher in Seattle has invented a molecule that can seek out cancerous tumors and make them glow. Hi Carver, I'm Dr. Olson, I'm gonna see you today. Carver is a pale young boy with hair slipped into a mohawk. We have really good news for you, first and foremost. Is no brain tumor. No brain tumor. So the surgery really and chemotherapy are working. Right here's where your brain tumor used to be. And look at how nice and clean that looks. Mm -hmm. But as good as the good news is about the cancer, Carver still has serious health problems. I got a fortune cookie once that said, uh, your ability to see the silly and the serious will take you far. I think there's a lot of whimsy, I think there's a lot of delight, I think there's a lot of humor um, that goes along with being a scientist. I don't ever turn my recorder on in labs, they all sound like white noise, I don't ever pay any bother. But what, what you can often find out about people is if you look at the cartoons they put up on the walls of their labs, I find that's a great way in. Because, you know, if you've got Gary Larson all over the place, that's one kind of question. <laughs> and if you've got pictures of your kids, that's another kind of question. If you've got a picture of Richard M. Nixon, that's another kind of question. <laughs> so. Okay, but I am ready now. Hello, hello, hello. It begins like this. I'm no photographer, but carrying around a smartphone, I notice I'm taking more pictures than I used to. Here, I've got one out my attic window of the snow on the house next door. Here's one of my son. Joe Palka, NPR News.